what's going on youtubers welcome back my friends so in this video i'd like to show you a bb impulsor 5b setup this is a kit that will be available soon right now i am testing a 220 volt ac uh, version of this kit this is a 2.4 tesla magnetic pulsar also i am gonna show you results from this new coil that i have made it's uh, here is parameters of this coil it's made out of a strip copper strip 15 millimeter wide and um, we're gonna go ahead and test that with the tesla meter so in a few words um this is the capacitor bank here Um, this is a charging circuit for uh, actually five capacitors and four diodes here on a heat sink. This is a low voltage uh, circuit that adjusts power output between 1 Tesla to 2.4 Tesla, 24,000 gas. This is a thyristor here. And we got 12 volt power supply for a low voltage circuit and this is a 240 volt AC um, transformer because here I have 120 volt AC in the main so I have to step it up to test this PCB alright guys so let's give it a test and um, let's see what it can do I'll go ahead and energize it. One, two, three. Just a second. Here we go. And let's see, let's adjust the power all the way down. And let's reset the volume. And let's take some measurements as it pulsates. Here we go. So one Tesla. And let's increase a little bit halfway. 1.3 Tesla. Let's increase more all the way. Let's take a measurements. 2.48 Tesla. I have to support this coil more inside here I gotta put some uh, glue because it's ripping off this part here but <clears throat> from what it seems like this coil performs just as well as 14 gauge uh, wire coil performs by the way it's much easier to wind this coil because it's made out of one layer it's a one strip layer you just wind it wind it until you get to about three inches um, this coil comes I mean the wire comes uninsulated and I have um, made the machine to insulate this wire so right now this wire is insulated and that's the only way you can use it after you insulate it so, um, the performance of this, I do like it. Um, as I said, the transformer does get uh, warm right now and it will get hot with the time. So you do need to use a resistor. Here in this setup, I'm not using no resistor, but it seems like it's necessary part. Okay guys, just wanted to show you this circuit see if I can show you the bottom side of it possibly here we go and from this side and this is the power output 2.48 Tesla which is 24 
1850 gauss all right guys if you like the video subscribe give me a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next one